So what are you doing, please? I'm basically trying to make an arrow shaft using a Bronze Age tool that would have stripped the bark off and then they'll probably look it along the line and then if there's any bits to take off, they then take them off and you see you can take off, you know, that's working no different to a modern chisel or, or a draw knife, isn't it? So. But it's nicely shaped. Very nicely shaped. Yeah. This is on the south-west corner of the land. It's an old bunker from the Second World War that would have protected the airfield, which was for the American bombers, which is where Bud and Matthews is now. This is a public footpath coming back from the bunker. And we're coming to the first area of, uh, of reptiles, which is again left us by the Second World War, um, when the farmer took up some of the hard standing, um, left some thankfully because it's very useful. Um, and this, according to Joe, is a perfect habitat uh, for reptiles. It is completely protected. Um, and full of wonderful cavities and as you see kind of classic remnant of the Second World War. This is the southern aspect of the field on the left side is the is the, is the hard standing leading to the footpath track. You can see some hedges that I've uh, hedge, hedging that I've planted quite recently and the last plough of the field and here's some good pig muck that's going to be spread on this area here which will be used for community uh, community garden and then here we've got the reptile habitation number one there's another one that we're going to go towards and then you can see the extent of the field looking um, northwest northeast sorry over there and I'm just about to walk in that direction. This is the crop of the field, ragwort. So this is a, a little bit of unplowed land but you can see how dominant the ragwort and thistle are. I'm about to do a, a cover crop of mustard, vetch, red clover and other grasses to dilute the ragwort. So I'm just going to give a bit more setting here. This is the field looking across to the south east. Here's the footpath with a few dogs on it. And here is what uh, you have supported us to buy. I'm pretty sure we're going to get it. Holton Pits. So this was all excavated. Um, uh, this cliff here was excavated kind of 19... 40, 46, just after the Second World War for the new housing boom in the UK over Suffolk. And the sand was extracted. Here's another angle of Houghton Pits. It's, um, it's a triple SI site. They found some mammoth bones and various prehistoric animal evidence of in the cliff after they, as they excavated. And it's also a country wildlife site. And all these trees and bushes have grown up since 1945. It's, it's had very little human intervention. It's a fantastic testament to unhindered nature. Here's the footpath going down into the pits here. You can see a dog just about to descend. There's, some, there's a lip of land that comes down to this southern point um, with this um, old oak tree and probably a hedge that's now become trees here and this area here which is going to be the second um, area for release of of reptiles and uh, I think Crispin is going to make it's sand here but he's going to dig to see there's an oh there's a ditch between um, this ploughed field and the 
field next door run by a farmer who grows uh, dairies, dairy cows. Um, we're going to dig a, a, a pond here that, that has a chance of filling, uh, especially in the winter, but it will add a bit of protection. Right, this is a different view of the field. I'm coming from the north from my wood. You can see how this part of this is a stumpery here comes onto the land there. And I'm just going to cross a bridge. It's called the Bridge of Doom by the children. And this is a, a dog's graveyard. And here's the, um, here's the northern part of the land looking across to where we were walking in the south over there. And this is the part which is full of clay soil. That's my neighbor's land there. He, um, uh, Neville, he squashes his land. He deals with machinery, he has a few pieces of old machinery there, kind of classic Suffolk small holding. And then this part of the land comes around the corner. And this would be an area of natural regeneration around here. There's my wood and the ditch and my neighbour's land there. 